I just want to mention one thing. There's my husband, William, right there. Today is my 25th silver anniversary. And let me tell you something, he is so lucky to have me. Unbelievable. Am I right or wrong, folks? You better, I mean, you have no idea. Hold on, I gotta do this again. You know something? Georgia used to say to me, no matter what, if you don't love yourself, you cannot love anything or anybody. I go, but Georgie, you can't walk around, stop yourself. You gotta know that everything that you do, you do from yourself. From yourself. Nobody's responsible for you except for you. Mr. Philosopher. Anyway, Mark Newman, when I was looking for pictures with, you know, I had so many pictures of George. Do you love the, the altar? Does everybody Yay! love the altar? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sorry, I don't want anybody else to nail him. He loved to fish, he loved to cook, he loved to be on his motorcycle, and he loved music. So that's what we do. Sister Rose came over and helped me do it. She printed that beautiful picture in the middle, which is beautiful. Sister Rose was so kind to George. I have to give a shout out to her because when I was not able to get to the nursing home for some reason, I knew Rose would be there. It meant so much to me. She was so good to him, and he loved her, and she used to buy him fig bars. When he passed, there was 40 fucking boxes of fig bars in the room. I said, what am I going to do with these freaking fig bars? He loved them from Trader Joe's. Blueberry apple. So I'd like you guys to give a round of applause for that woman who was there for him. Now this guy over here used to train me, not potty train, you know. <laughs> Mark, you know I need to be potty trained. <laughs> Honey, I'm only kidding, but I am attracted to him. He was over with his wife a couple of weeks ago. They came to visit me, Naomi. I said, Naomi, I want to strip your husband. <laughs> Mark was like, Mark, can you tell them the story about what happened when you sang Come Rain and Come Shine? <laughs> I I'll act it out. Go. I want to love you. Nobody's loved you. Come rain or come shine. Oh, God. We'll be right back. Now, I was looking at pictures with George to get everything together. I s this is crazy. There's Mark Newman. How old? 30? 30 years old. And guess when it was dated to play at the US Blues, the Mark Newman band? June 19th. Oh my God. It was so fabulous. Gorgeous. He's not getting a picture because I'm keeping it. Well, I made a copy, but. But where is it? just you right now, baby? All right, so anyway, he, well, he goes back. And they had a wonderful, in this environment, by the way, we're here because Georgie did a lot of music programs at Morales. Mark had a wonderful singer-songwriter called From the Hive, which I really love. So anyway, he had a very long relationship with George. He visited George. He loved George, and George loved him. So with no further ado, give it up for Mr. Mark Newman. And Yeah, thanks. George kept, uh, it was music from the high end. A lot of you might have done it. And uh, he kept that going for, since 2008. And uh, always sat at the end of the bar. And uh, 
this is rough singing after Benny Harrison. That's the first thing. Um, <laughs> you got it. Anyway, um, I had played this song for the first time in one of the hives, and uh, George was sitting at the end of the bar, and he said, I like that song, so I'm going to play it tonight. <laughs>